Welcome to Fashion Nicole. In today's video, we are going to learn how to sew professionally. The quality, hang, and structure of garments is greatly influenced by the presence behind the stitches and seams. Let's get learning after the break. Dare to dream, Fashion Masterclass Africa is bringing to you the ultimate online learning program. Complete our full corsetry class under the course Contour Fashion, a pragmatic experience that will take your craftsmanship to the next level. Intriguing lessons on fabrications, pattern cutting, construction techniques, finishes and many more. The genius Dr. Clement Asemingura will be revealing a lot of the secrets and tricks used by couturiers in couture design. The ultimate opportunity to watch lessons at your own pace from any part of the world if you have an ambition to become a highly skilled professional. Get technical support throughout your entire learning process. Let your dreams become a reality with the help of Fashion Masterclass Africa. Sign up today. Visit us on www.fashionmasterclassafrica.com Welcome back. Today we are going to learn a lot about vintage sewing. I see beautiful pieces, but when you look at the hang and the whole creases that are created and formed around the stitches and seams, you go like, who made this piece? There is a statement or a saying in sewing that beautiful things are created one press at a time. When you sew, you have to press. It's sew and press as you sew. It's very necessary for you to press as you sew. During constructional stage, there are little, little pressings that are very important, which helps mold the garment for you to get the beautiful garment you've envisioned to create. A lot of us don't really like pressing when we are sewing. Today, we are going to learn some little, little techniques to press or bring our garment out, focusing on quality and hang of the fit. For you to be able to get this quality and hang of the fit, it means you have to get your pressings right. We are quickly going to look at some aids or supporting working tools that can help us press or iron. First, we are looking at the Jumbo Ham. This is the Jumbo Ham extremely big look at it this have been filled with sawdust many a times with our tailor's ham our jumbo ham we have some of these pieces that contains fabric swashes or fabric pieces please it's wrong fabric can't absorb moisture and heat for a long period of time. This is filled with sawdust and we know sawdust can take in moisture, sustain and it's extremely resilient. This enables you to press very well because it's broad enough to take garment curves and all that. So this is our jumbo ham. We have our clapper board which also have a pointer. This is also a clapper board. When we are pressing creating bias when we are setting heat on pleats, neck areas, calves, sleeves. This is what we are going to use to set it. As we press along, immediately we remove the iron, we set the heat up on the work. This is also our point presser. When we are pressing the sides of curves, this will enable open the seams apart as you press along. This is round this is our contour ham when we are pressing curved areas of bustiers um bralettes carpings we are going to use this to press we have our pressing mint you can just create this by just getting a blended cotton fabric or a pure cotton fabric all you do is to cut a piece we have some delicate fabrics that does not require you touching them directly with your iron you need to cover them up and having a pressing mint is a sure way to go we have our sleeve board 
when pressing sleeves, it comes up very, very well, it's handy. We just have to fix it and voila, we will be pressing. Now let's look at some of the garment parts that needs necessary pressing. When you're sewing and you have a bodice, your side allowance or your seam allowances, it's either you are having an open or flat seam or you are finishing both seams together. If you have an open seam, it's obvious half of the seam is pressed to the left, half is pressed to the right. You do that for both sides. At the shoulder, if you have a seam that is open, it means half comes to the front, half comes towards the back. If you have the seams entirely finished by binding, surging or what have you it means you need to move it to one direction so if you have the seam enclosed it means move or press it to the back it shouldn't come to the front if the shoulder seams are enclosed move and press it to the back it shouldn't come to the front now let's look at how to use this piece but before that we have ions that we keep using there is a difference between hot plate and steam iron. I recommend steam iron for professional sewing. Steam iron provides or produces moisture. In the process of sewing, you need moisture to set your work down. It molds, it shapes, and when it evaporates, it helps set the work that you are molding down. Using hot plates has no moisture. Heat producers set the fibers in the garment, and if you don't have moisture in it, it's end up remodeling the work a bit. That is how come you can press and have bowlings. If you're working with delicate fabric like satins, you end up having sheen on the appearance. This is a hot plate. Iron has no steam attached. This happens to be our steam iron. It comes with a pot. We have steam iron that have their water um, compartment at the top you have to pour water in it that is more for domestic use but for our professional sewing you need a steam iron with a base that has a channel through which you pour water into when you are working then we have our garment steamer this happens to be our garment steamer when you have pieces entirely finished mounted you can't use your iron you have to use the garment steamer i'll quickly take you through how to use these items mentioned let's go for a quick break after the break we will be demonstrating dear designer you deserve some sewing excitement in your design process shop at sogasm gh for your authentic trusted sewing accessories studio aid and couture fabrications we don't only sell to you, we provide valuable consultation services to enable you choose the right product for your project. Visit our page on Instagram at Sogasm Ghana to see available stock items. Call us or WhatsApp us on 0592-309576. Email us on sogasmghana at gmail.com. Have a fabulous sewing gasm. Welcome back from the break. This is our steam iron. I want you to observe two things. When we are sewing, we press. We don't iron while sewing. This is how we press. When you have the garment piece laid, you press like this, pressing, press. So you hold the iron, you just jack, jack, jack like this. You see, then you move on to the next part. We don't do like this. This is ironing. We don't iron when we are constructing garments. We press, we press, we press to mold. This is a toile, a prototype of a skirt. This is the hip area of the skirt. I have this on the jumbo ham. It's broad enough to enable me press. These are the seams. So I have to open this up. If I want these to lie flat, I go like this. I'm pressing. 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 So this is pressing. If I have a seam in the narrow bay, like this part 
What you do with the pointer is this. It's flesh out for you. So if I'm pressing this part, I can use both parts. So I press, I set. Especially when you're working with synthetic fabric, the fibers remodel quickly. So immediately you apply steam or heat, try and set it quickly to enable the fibers, reshape immediately. So you press, set your steam or set up. So we can equally use this to perform the same function. When you have curves like this, when you have curves like this, probably you are making a corset or a bralette and you want to press, you can't put this on your ironing table and do this. It's wrong. Or put this directly on the jumbo ham and do this. It's wrong. You are crushing the pattern. You are crushing the shape. You are remodeling the shape and it wouldn't fit or it will look tacky. Rather, you need the ham, the round ham or contour ham. What you do is stretch the work, stretch it over, let it take the shape. Then you go, you press, you mold. Because a circle, it enables all seams to lie very well. You press, pressing. So I'm pressing around. Look at how it's looking. You see how crepes? Imagine pressing on this. Good. If you have a bodice, this is a bodice. This also a twirl. If you have darts like this, a dart that is a wedge that stitched in a garment and you have it at the front, you need to press this to that side, this to that side. Clear it off and you just do that with the help of your jumbo ham. Once you put it on, you just press to both sides. Now you have pieces you are entirely finished sewing. We have some pieces, when you are done sewing, you can put it on your ironing table to press. Typical pieces are like the couture pieces, the gowns and all that. If you look at this right here, this is a completed couture piece. You can not put this on the flat table and press. You have to steam it up. You have to steam this up. So I'm going to take you through how to steam this garment up. Every designer needs a garment steamer. This garment steamer is used to press or finish garments up on the dress form or when you hang them up. With this, this is a mounted garment and like I expressed, we can put this on the table or the ironing board to press. Rather, we have to press or steam it up in this state. And before you do this, or before you use a garment steamer, it's recommended that you add fabric or garment deodorizer to the water. This is a way to keep the garment shell span for long. Probably if you are selling, you are hanging in your showrooms, you need to have a way to put this kind of deodorizer in just to protect the garment. I have a deodorizer here already. I've poured some in. This is Bailey's deodorizer incredible garment or textile deodorizer. It gives you the best effect and it's not only for steaming up garments, you can equally use this to deodorize your room, your toit de jouer, your upholstery, um, carpets and what have you. This is the sure product to use. Bailey's fabric or textile deodorizer. So with this, all, all that I do is just move it you move it as the steam flows. So this is how to steam up your garment. With our pressing mint, 
Like I said, you can improvise using a cotton-based fabric or a blend. When pressing delicate fabrics like silks, satins, brocade, please do cover them up. We don't want more sheen on the appearance or the surface. Please do cover them up before you press. Your jacket, your woolen jacket, don't touch the fibers with a direct hot plate. It helps produce a sheen and gives that kind of dark and fizzy feel to the fibers on the appearance. So this is the tips to help you press and sew professionally. Don't forget, press as you sew. As you are sewing, be pressing along. Don't complete the entire garment before you press. You stitch the neckline, you press. You join the sleeve, you press. You join this area, you press. The process, the little, little pressings behind the stitches and seam, that is a sure way to make your garment or the piece you are constructing come out extremely beautiful. I hope this lesson has been insightful. If you have some tips on pressing or ironing, please do share with us in the comment section. This is proudly sponsored by Sogasm Ghana. And for all the supplies, the hams, the sleeve board, everything, the iron, the Bailey's deodorizer, all are available at Sogasm. All you do is to click on their link in my description box below. Get there, place your orders, and through DHL, if you are not in Ghana, it will be delivered to you. So please do well to tell a friend to also come in and watch forward the links to everyone. Note, we have a goal by the end of 2021. We want to hit 50,000 subscribers. Our short and intermediate goal is to making you invite your friends, get your communities to come and sign up to this channel for fashion design education, beauty and lifestyle. My name remains Dr. Clement Assem Injura. Do follow me on Instagram at drclement Assem Injura and also at Fashion Masterclass Africa. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, visit www.fashionmasterclassafrica.com take up a course and be proud of yourself i'll see you